Welcome to Life According to Scripture, where the Word of God is alive, anointed, and geared toward developing, improving, and strengthening your relationship with the Lord. Our teachings aim to spiritually nurture both new believers and strengthen those who are already mature in their faith. We're grateful to have you join us in the study of the Word of God today. We pray that it penetrates your heart deeply, bringing you even closer to the Lord. Greetings, radio audience, in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, this is Minister Caroline Gothia coming to you live from Oasis of Faith Christian Center in Esperia, California, in the United States. Today, we're going to be talking about the topic, God inhabits your praise. God inhabits your praise. Hallelujah. We thank you for gathering around the word of God with us today. And God inhabits your praise is a topic that we want to get into in depth. Uh, Psalm uh, 22 verse 3, we're going to have several scriptures today. So if you want to just jot them down, and if you, you can't, if I go too fast for you to get to all of them, just jot them down. Uh, God inhabits uh, the praises of his people. Psalm 22 3. Why is that important? Why is that significant? The presence of the Father makes himself at home in your praise. The word inhabit implies dwelling in, living in, coming and making yourself at home in, dwelling. So we could interpret it as God dwells in, lives in, makes himself at home in our praises. Wherever he's praised, you will find his presence activated. So you see there are blessings, benefits to offering up the sacrifice of praise to our father. The sacrifice, that means even when we don't, our bodies don't feel like it, we do it anyway. Scriptures like let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord continues giving us clues into the importance of the value, the power, the benefits of praising the Lord. It sounds, as you study in scripture, like praising or blessing the Lord is foundational to the born-again believer. In Psalm 11:3, it even teaches us, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If praise is foundational, what happens without praise? The foundation of your belief is destroyed. If a foundation for a house is not stable, if it's not secure, that house, beloved, is going to have problems of instability. We see in Psalm 30, verse 12, O Lord, my God, I will give thanks or praise. I will give thanks or praise to you forever. Psalm 50, 23, whoso offers praise glorifies me, says God. We glorify God when we praise him. Psalm 86, 11 through 13, I will praise the Lord, O oh my God, with all my heart. I will glorify thy name forever, for great is your mercy towards me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. We see in Psalm 92, 1, it's a good thing, it says, to give thanks or sing praises unto his name, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and faithfulness every night. So here we see loving kindness and faithfulness connected to praise and thanksgiving. Psalm 100, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve the Lord with goodness. Come before his presence with singing. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We shouldn't even come into his presence to even ask him to petition him for anything without giving thanks, without 
praising him first. That's what scripture is saying. This is foundational to our spiritual walk. If the foundation is questionable, so is the rest. If Remember, if that foundation of that house is not stable, then that house is going to have trouble. Well, so with your spiritual walk. If your foundation, which is praise, is not in order, then your spiritual walk is going to have challenges. Hallelujah. Psalm 103, 1 through 5, makes supernaturally plain how powerful and beneficial it is to praise or to bless the Lord. Praise or blessing the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless or praise his holy name. Bless or praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So in praising the Lord, blessing the Lord, there's benefits connected to that. Hallelujah. So there are the, these benefits of praising the Lord. You have to get into scripture and find out what those benefits are. But scripture is definitely teaching us there are the benefits attached to praising or blessing the Lord. What are some of the benefits? These are not all, but, the, but this is some. Verse 3, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals, my goodness, all your diseases. If praise is attached to you being healed from cancer or diabetes or heart disease, beloved, sit up and take notice there are people that never praise the Lord and they're dying before their allotted time. Listen to this. Verse 3, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. These are the benefits of praise. Who redeems your life from destruction. I don't know about you, but before I came to the Lord, my life was the pits. My life was a life of destruction who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. Verse 5, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. All of this, beloved, is connected with praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. And you've got people that they, they've been Christians for years, but they will not come to church on time for praise and worship because they don't want to be bothered with the praise and the singing. They just want to come to hear the spoken word. Well, I believe when you study in scripture that those people are missing out on something very valuable because scripture says praise and worship to the Lord has benefits to it. So if they don't even know that and or they don't care enough that they would come to church on time so that they can participate in praise and worship God help them that's why some people's lives are in the condition that they're in unfortunately Psalm 118 verse 1 oh give thanks or praise unto the Lord why because he's good because his mercy endures forever so here again beloved we see thanks, we see praise connected to a, to a benefit. What's the benefit? Mercy. And all of us need mercy every day of our life. Psalm 23 even tells us uh, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Us who? Those that have made the Lord their Savior their Lord. Hallelujah. Is there any wonder that you hear people say, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. How dare we fall into that group of coming to church late so that you can skip praise and worship. Beloved, that is not pleasing to God. And if that's you, then you make a change. He's forget. He, this scripture says he has mercy on us, but you change that. You always want to be in church for praise. And what I don't even feel like I've been to church if I miss praise and worship. Hallelujah. 
When you study in scripture and you see how much is connected with a heart of praise and thanksgiving, you can't help but be a praiser in all things, not because of all things, but in all things. Your life will be one of blessing and being a blessing to others. I'm not saying that all of the negative things that can come your way, that, you're, that, that that's a blessing, but no, you praise the Lord in spite of what's coming against you. You praise the Lord. You bless the Lord. That's what this is saying. Acts 16, verse 25, teaches us the power and benefits of praise. This is just a few of the scripture teaching us the benefits of the foundational praise in our life. Hallelujah. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They were in prison and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. So that means they were not praising quietly. They were making some holy noise. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that <clears throat> the foundations of the prisons shook. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's hands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew his sword and he would have killed himself because he thought the prisoners had fled. In those days, when they were placed in charge, when the guards were placed in charge of the prisoners, if the prisoners escaped on their watch, they lost their life. But Paul cried out with a loud voice saying, do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Verse 30, the jailer says to Paul, what must I do to be saved? In this case, beloved, we see a salvation, a life saved from suicide, connected to praise and worship to the Lord while Paul and Silas were in prison. Hallelujah. Let's look at Acts 12, beginning with verse 5. Still looking at the power and the benefits of praise and blessing the Lord. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. The same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with chains, verse 7, and behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly and his chains fell off. We're talking praise and prayer here. As Peter was led out of prison by the angels, he thought he was seeing, he thought he was dreaming or, or that he was seeing a vision. Here's a man that was to be put to death the next morning, but because of prayer and because of praise to God, listen, prayer and praise to God, an angel is sent from heaven to set him free. It causes a great earthquake that shakes open the prison doors. Hallelujah. So here, once again, we see prayer and praise being connected with a great blessing. This was a great rescue because he was to be put to death the next morning. Hallelujah. A great rescue how did this happen? Based in prayer and praise. What's your takeaway from this today, beloved? Scripture proves over and over again, <clears throat> the foundation of praise has numerous benefits and it would behoove the beloved Christians to sit up and take notice of the foundations of praise in their spiritual walk. Because when you don't, you are missing out on great benefits according to scripture. We've just covered a few of them today, but the deeper you get into the word of God, the more benefits you will find. Hallelujah for praise and worship to the Father. Now that's all the time we have for today, beloved. You can reach us in the United States at Oasis of Faith Christian Center, 
17520 Lemon Street, Hesperia, California, 92345. In the United States, you can also reach us at lifescripture at gmail.com. Now, until we come into your home again next week, I pray the blessing of God over your life and over your family. I thank you that you will take this word deep into your spirit and into your heart, that you will study it and meditate on it. And may God give thee increase.